I know you guys are aware about most of the keyboard shortcuts which you use in your daily routine work. But today I have tried to showcase few shortcuts that you should also know to ease your work. And these shortcuts are not only bounded to Windows but you can use on your Mac as well. The only differences are Ctrl key is replaced by Command key, Alt is replaced by Option. So let's start the video and at the end of the video do let me know in the comment section how many shortcuts were new to you. The most commonly used keyboard shortcuts by everyone are Ctrl plus C to copy the text and Ctrl plus V to paste the text. But when we paste the text by using Ctrl plus V, it also carries the format of the text from where we have copied it. Now to avoid this format, paste the text by using Ctrl plus Shift plus V. It will help you to paste the text in the same format which you are using in the current file. Now if you are Mac user, then use command plus shift plus v to access this shortcut in your macbook. Now while typing we also tend to misspell words as well. To delete those words we usually use backspace which deletes each character by each click. Now if you want to delete a word in one click use control plus backspace. And to replicate this shortcut in mac use option key plus delete. Multitasking is a new norm of working. I mean to say that we all love to watch live sports or working parallelly on two different applications. And it is very difficult to keep the eye on both the task especially when we have a single screen to work on. Now you can use window key plus left or right arrow key to split the screen into two different parts. For example, I want to split my screen in two parts for two different applications. Select the application on which you are working and press window key plus left arrow. Now go to the other application on which you want to work parallelly and hit window key plus right key. Now you can work parallelly on two different applications. Now suppose you want to work on more than two applications. Then how you will split the screen? For this also we have the solution. Press window key and then down arrow to restore down the application. Then again window key plus left or right combined with up and down arrow to split the screen in four different parts. Now here you go, you can now work on 4 different applications parallelly. We also have one bonus shortcut key here. If you want to minimize the active window, press the window key and press down key twice. It will minimize the active window and again if you want to restore the window, press window key plus up arrow twice. This shortcut is not valid for Mac user. Now moving to the next shortcut. We all tend to make mistakes, especially me whenever I am working on any tight schedule and this result in several mistakes as well. Like accidentally closing an important web page that I have found after several hours of research and normally we recover those pages by going to web browser history which is very time consuming. But now you can use the shortcut Ctrl plus Shift plus T to recover the page as you press the shortcut. If you are a Mac user then use shift plus command plus t to recover the page. Moving to next shortcut now. Most of the time when we are working, we open lots of applications and sometimes get jumbled up in these applications. Now you can minimize these applications in two ways. Number one, when you want to keep the active application maximized and others should be minimized, use window key plus home. It will minimize all the window except the selected or currently active window. For Mac user, it will be option key plus command plus M. Now moving to next option. If you want to minimize all the application, then use window key plus M. It will minimize all the open windows. Now if you want to restore all the open application again, then use window key plus shift plus M. It will restore all the minimized windows. Next shortcut is for those who have the common habit like me to use the desktop as a favorite place to save any file. Now it would be very difficult to minimize all the window and check whether the file gets saved or not. The best shortcut key which you should use for it is window key plus comma. It will give a glimpse of your desktop till the time you keep it pressed and as you release the key your active window will start appearing. For Mac user you can use command plus F3 for this function. 
now we have checked and saved the file on the desktop but sometimes we also want to create a copy of the same file or folder and normally we use copy and paste function to do so but you can use the easiest way to create a copy of file or folder is press the control and drag the file it will create a copy of the same file moving to next shortcut now we all want to keep our favorite app at our fingertip and the best place is to ping those apps in the taskbar now you can open those app by double clicking on the icon you can also use the shortcut key as well by clicking the window key with the position of the app in the taskbar for example if you see i have all my favorite app here now if i have to open chrome i have to only press window key with number 3 it will open the chrome browser but this shortcut is only limited to first 9 apps only now let's talk about screenshots the most common way to take a screenshot is print screen key but it will capture whole screen now if you want to capture a specific part of a screen the best keyboard shortcut would be window key plus shift plus s it will open the integrated version of a snipping tool from where you can select the different type of snipping like free snipping window snipping or whole screen snipping the taken screenshot will be saved in the clipboard you have to open an application like word or paint to paste that screenshot for your further reference that was our list of shortcuts key if you think there is any other shortcut we should made this list make sure to comment down below so that everyone is aware give a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video share with your friends and do not forget to subscribe our channel for more amazing tech videos thanks for watching